to the Artist Detective, where we investigate the lives and art of renowned artists like me. I am Rembrandt Van Rijn, the well-known, or shall we say, world-renowned painter, who is known as a touch master from the 1600s. Today, we will meet a Spanish artist who lived from 1881 to 1973 and experimented with art in most unusual ways, if you ask me. His name is Pablo Picasso and his art is called abstract art, though I think there is something about roses and cubes in there too. Anyway, welcome Picasso. Hola. My name is Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Puala Juana Pomaceno Maria de los Oramedios Sibiriano de la Santísima Trinidad Madre Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. But I can hardly say my whole name in one breath. So you can call me Picasso. Now you say it, Picasso. Picasso. I am the most important painter of the 20th century. I was born in Malaga, Spain in 1881. When I was a child, my mother said to me, If you become a soldier, you will be a general. If you become a monk, you will be the Pope. Instead, I became a painter and I wound up as Picasso. My father, who was also a painter and art teacher, taught me to draw and paint, and soon I became a better artist than he. My father, N.C. Wyeth, was an artist who taught me to draw and paint too. You might say I surpassed him too, for I, Andrew Wyeth, became known as the painter of the people due to my work's popularity with the American public. I never liked school much, because I resented that the teachers told me what to do, and I was often disobedient. I did not mind that they sent me to the calaboose, a bare cell with whitewashed walls and a bench to sit on. I liked it there because I took along my sketchbook and drew incessantly. I could have stayed there forever, drawing without stopping. I, Georgia O'Keeffe, am also one who likes to bend or break the rules. I do not like being told what to do or paint, but I want to paint my own ideas in my own way. You may be familiar with my large, close-up pictures of flowers and southwestern landscapes. I can paint very realistically, as I did when I was in my teens. I showed some of my first paintings at a junk shop when I was 13 years old, and even sold a few. But I like to experiment with materials and styles. I am very creative and never complacent. I draw or paint every day. You might say I am obsessed with my art. I, Norman Rockwell, am also a prolific painter. But Pablo, even though we grew up at the same time, well, in different parts of the world, I prefer to stay in my style of modern romanticism and paint the pictures the American people can relate to. You know, humorous depictions of everyday American life. But I did include your self-portrait in my own triple self-portrait. When I was 20, my close friend, Carlos Casajemes, took his own life, and I became very sad. I began to paint in shades of blue, and the people in my paintings often look sad. And they have an elongated style like that of El Greco, the famous Greek painter. You can see this in my paintings, The Tragedy and The Old Blind Guitarist. This is called my blue period now. I was often sad and blue. In the end, I, Vincent van Gogh, took my life too. I, El Greco, approve of your elongated figures, Pablo. I am sure that my individual style, which looks like Byzantine church tradition mixed 
with Western painting influenced your Cubism. By 1904, when I was 23, I had moved to Paris away from my native Spain, and I fell in love. My art again reflected my mood. I was happy now, so I used rose and pink colors in my paintings, so people call it my rose period. It is also called my circus period, for I enjoyed painting circus people and harlequins. In my painting, family of Sultanbanks, you can even see that I included myself as a harlequin in the painting. I also did many self-portraits. In 1907, my friend Georges Brock and I began experimenting with perspective and challenging the constraints of perspective that had been accepted since the Renaissance. We wanted to try to include many different angles and views of an object in one painting. So we made blocks of different views and started a new style of art called Cubism. My painting, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, or The Young Ladies of Avignon, was my first big work in the style of Cubism. While many found it shocking and rejected the angular and jarring view which lacked depth. This pushed my work and art into the new abstract era for which I am known. I also invented collage, including bits of newspaper and rope and other real objects in the paintings. I enjoyed sculpture as well, again making it my own unique style by taking ordinary objects and creating something from them. I once took a bicycle seat and handlebars to create a bull. Oh Pablo, how you influenced me. I also created collages and used everyday objects as the subjects of my paintings. You have always been such a huge influence that I thought when I started the cartoon paintings that I was getting away from Picasso. And even my cartoons of Picasso were done almost to rid myself of your influence. During World War I, I again changed my style of painting to return to realistic paintings. This was my classical period. Never content with one style though, I soon began to experiment with depicting paintings based on Sigmund Freud's studies on the power of the subconscious mind. This art movement was called Surrealism. One of my most famous paintings is from this time of Surrealism, and is called Guernica after a Spanish city that the Nazis bombed in 1937 during the Spanish Civil War. I depict the horrors of war using only white, blacks, and grey. The Nazis were angry with me for creating the painting Guernica, and they came to my door. Did you do this? One asked me. No, I replied. You did. They created the violence. I only painted it. Well, my art is shocking and disturbing to many, and I am often asked what it means. I do not want people to try to understand art. Why spoil the magic of it? I do not think when I paint, but I let my mind and feelings run free. I live my own way, and my art keeps me alive. So let's review about me. Repeat after me. Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. 1881 to 1973. 1881 to 1973. Abstract art. Abstract art. Cubism. Cubism. Surrealism. Surrealism. Adios. Thank you for joining us on The Artist Detective. We look forward to seeing you next time when we investigate the lives and the art of other great artists like me and Picasso. <laughs> <laughs>